My name is Zaila Avakar and I'm 14 years old. So I have a Guinness World Record for most bunch juggles and one minute with four basketballs. The main the one I have, which is like the crowning achievement of all basketball Guinness World Records, is the most basketballs dribbled in one minute simultaneously, which is six balls. For my 13th birthday, I decided that I wanted to celebrate becoming a teenager to uh, do a Guinness World Record. Of course! When I turned 13, I wanted to be able to eat french fries every day. Ugh. Zayla's clips flooded my screen when she won the National Spelling Bee. The spelling bee, so she says, is not even her main thing. She wants to be a basketball player more. The Yet her is win is historic. Maria. Does this word contain like the English name Murray, which could be the name of a comedian? Or just the English <laughs> name in general? I don't see that here. <laughs> Bill Murray made the spelling bee. <laughs> Maria. M-U-R-R-A-Y-A. That is correct! <laughs> that was the winning moment when history was made at the 93rd Scripps National Spelling Bee. The Spelling Bee champ making history. How could she not be our person of the week? The first African-American competitor ever to win the Scripps National Spelling Bee since it started 96 years ago. And there is your champ. The last African-American competitor to reach the final round was Magnolia Cox from Ohio in 1936. She was not allowed to stay in the same hotel as her white competitors. She had mentioned that if she were to win, she was going to faint on stage. It's nice to see that she <laughs> handled the pressure. I'm sure basketball helped. This is how she played when she was nine years old. It's fallen. Want to see more? Here are her dribbling drills. It is unbelievable. You excel in juggling, you excel at basketball, now at spelling, and you just got into this within the last two years. Zayla, what do you attribute your early success in this competition to? Well, for one day, I didn't have any more time to succeed. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> because this was your last eligibility year, right? Yeah. And um, also, I guess, kind of just luck. Hashtag so humble. But no, here's what really happened. You, in, in 2019, were 370th in rank? Uh, or something ask, like that? Don't ask me about it. And uh, then yes. jumped to number one. Yeah. But you just started reading the dictionary? Is that what you did? Uh, no, what I started doing was I started uh, like using a, a program. Or I, yeah, I started using this program. And also, I actually already had, but I like, really went into it. Also, I actually started practicing. That's the last but most important thing. Practicing. That's the last but most important thing. Practicing. Her father has a history in anthropology and myself in history. So in the beginning, when we were giving her all these books to read and we had exhausted all the books we had, we started giving her our collegiate books. And that, you know, it just sparked that imagination and the rest is history. 